Hey everyone, Chris from Blu-ray Critic, and on today's update I'll be reviewing Bloodbath, which is a set of four films being released on uh, Blu-ray by Arrow Video US. But uh, essentially this was supposed to be just uh, one movie being produced under Roger Corman, but ended up being four different cuts of it because... Uh, you know, Corman was not satisfied at all with the first cut. He just felt like it's uh, not suitable for a proper release. So he had Mike Roy come in for the second film, and uh, he had him, you know, do some reshots and re-edits. And uh, he felt, uh, you know, Corman felt that the second film was a bit more suitable for a uh, drive-in theater release. Because, you know, keep in mind at the time, drive-in theaters were really, really popular. But uh, once again, Corman was not really satisfied with that cut either. So he had Stephanie Rothman and Jack Hill come in for the third and fourth cut. And by the way, which uh, also starred Sid Haig for the third and fourth cut of the film. But all four films stars uh, William Campbell. And he was fresh off the set of Dementia 13, which was uh, written and produced and also directed by Francis Ford Coppola. And an early take on Francis Ford Coppola. But he also worked on this film as well. Because Roger Corman sent him out to Dubrovnik. Which is a city in Croatia. You know where it was filmed. Uh, as a story editor. So uh, he's uncredited for for that uh, cut of the film. But he is involved with this. So really really interesting take on uh, you know Francis Ford Coppola. But uh, man this is quite an experience. Uh, so when you watch the films. You are going to see some of the same scenes. In all four films. Because you know the same scenes were used. But uh, you're going to see different character actors. So it's not the same uh, character actor for each of the films. But uh, it's just quite an experience. I've never seen anything like this, guys. It's definitely quite an experience. And overall, it was a joy to watch. And you get a really great uh, you know, visual essay that's essentially a feature-length film in itself. Because it uh, runs roughly uh, close to around uh, 90 minutes long. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at some of the special features and I'll talk as far as the uh, picture and audio quality and the aspect ratio. So in order for Arrow Video to get this limited edition set released, it was definitely no easy task by far for them. Such a painstaking process because they had to search through so many different archives to try to find the best source material possible and basically just splice it together and uh, try to make it presentable for this release. But you do get the films in the high def 1080p. And, uh, of course, you get, uh, you know, the four different versions of the films. Operation Titian, Portrait and Terror, plus Blood Bath, and also Track of the Vampire. And you get uh, brand new 2K restorations for Portrait and Terror, Blood Bath, and Track of the Vampire from original source material. And, uh, of course, you get that visual essay, as I mentioned, by Tim Lucas, which I highly, highly recommend because it goes really in-depth and explains everything you need to know as far as how these uh, cuts came about. And uh, you get a brand new interview also with uh, Sid Haig called uh, Bathing in Blood. Plus archive interview with producer, director Jack Hill and uh, Still Galleries. You also get the uh, double-sided fold-out poster, which I'll show you. And you get that uh, really great uh, booklet as well. All right, so here is the uh, booklet. And by the way, the aspect ratio for all four films is presented in the 1.66 ratio. And uh, the picture and audio quality, it, it varies. Um, as I mentioned, they try to find the best source material possible. But uh, it's not in the most perfect condition. And, uh, you know, like I said, that's as best as it gets for this release. But uh, I'm going to rate the picture from a 3.5 to a 4. And I'm going to give the audio a uh, 4 out of a 5 for all four films. And uh, all right, so let's take a look at some of the pages. And I'll show you the uh, mini poster. But a uh, really great uh, booklet, lots of uh, great production notes to read in here. But uh, yeah, nice uh, rare pictures as well. And it also explains the uh, process of the uh, the transfers as far as how it all came about, where they were able to get it from. Okay, so here's the uh, beautiful mini poster. And this is the newly commissioned artwork. And as I mentioned, it's double-sided. Beautiful, beautiful artwork on here. And uh, by the way, this is 16 by 20 inches in size. You also get the image of the original artwork on the other side, which is just absolutely fantastic. Really beautiful with the uh, film credits on the bottom there. Really awesome. So let me show you the case itself and the reversible artwork on there. So here's the uh, case itself with the newly commissioned artwork. Here's uh, disc one on Blu-ray. Also disc two. And here is the original artwork. Same image from the mini poster. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely going to be flipping on both ends, that is for sure. But uh, definitely pick this set up, guys. I mean, you haven't seen anything like this. It's just quite an experience and a really beautiful release by 
Aero Video US, and uh, this is uh, Region A and B. So uh, that's my review of Bloodbath, four different cuts of Roger Corman's films. Thanks for taking a look, and I'll see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.